This is a sample of how I teach Italian. I am assuming this is the very first lesson and you know nothing. Welcome is benvenuto, masculine, or benvenuta, feminine. In a real face-to-face -face lesson you are supposed to repeat every new word after me and I will repeat again until you can pronounce it right. Benvenuto. But a few exceptions, our ending is masculine, I is feminine, and they are always pronounced this way, not the English O and A way. Now, to come is like to come to a venue, venire, venire. The ire ending is like the two of a whole verb. If you strip ire, you are left with ven. If you add uto or uta, for the feminine, then you have venuto, and it is the same come of I have come, as if it were I have come. So welcome is really welcomed, and well is bene. Bene means well, as in benefit or benefactor, two Italian-like English words. Not to be mistaken with good, Good is buon, you probably know. Buongiorno means good day. We say good day instead of good morning. Giorno means day, as in journal, a newspaper that comes out every day. Giornale in Italian. The E, I in, Ita uh, I in English, but E in Italian, is silent. It just tells you the pronunciation of the G is Gio and not go. It's not giorno, but giorno. So good is buono, and well is bene. So welcome should be benevenuto, but we shorten it. One syllable less in the compound word, and bene becomes ben, benvenuto. Such common qualifiers like good, buono, well, bene, and beautiful, bello, double L, are often shortened, not all in compounds words. For instance, to do, to make is fare. This is an are ending for the whole verb. So you have ire, are, and also ere, instead of to, depending on the verb. Done, made is fatto, just like fact, it also means fact. It should be fatto, but we double the T, because fatto means fate, destiny. Well done is, you guess, ben fatto. It is, it's, is simply E. E with the stress on top of it, meaning it is an open E. So the, the E vowel is always pronounced E in Italian. But we have two, two E's, two E. The closed one, E, and the open one, E. You open your mouth well when you spell E with stress on it. And it just means is. It is understood. How do you say, it's well done, e ben fatto. Mm. E ben fatto. But if you want to say it's done well, e fatto bene, you don't say e fatto ben, because bene is after the verb, at the end of the sentence, after fatto. Benefactor would be benefattore with the ore ending indicating a person who does something good. When you are addressing someone formally, you can still use is instead of are, although the subject is you. So how do you formally say you're, you are welcome, you're welcome? You have to say you is welcomed without you. E benvenuto. 
remember the opening, not e benvenuto, but e benvenuto. You formal is lay, and it is understood, unless you want to stress it. You are welcome, with a stress on you, is lei e benvenuto. You don't need to stress lei, you just express it in order to stress it. Once you understand the structure of compound words, you can reuse their components in other sentences. For instance, all is tutto, tutto. Everybody knows Spanish todo. Change D into T and double the T. D and T are similar consonants, by the way. Todo becomes tutto, and it's a double T, so it's prolonged. Not tutto, but tutto. You don't pronounce double consonants in English, but you always do in Italian. So it's a double T, as in a bit too. Tutto. And if you want to say now I'm challenging you, all right, how do you say? We don't say right. We say well, simply well. We say all well. When I challenge you, take your time to stop the recording before I give you the answer. Tutto bene. All right, all okay. As a question, all okay, meaning how's everything? How do you say? Well, questions always require interrogative intonation in Italian. So it's not tutto bene, it is affirmative. But tutto bene, intonation makes the difference between all okay and are you okay? So if they ask you, tutto bene, you can answer tutto bene. Todo bien in Spanish, you probably knew that. And you say, good morning, all okay? All right, that's the answer. Buongiorno, tutto bene? With inflection to a question. And then the answer, tutto bene. Buongiorno, tutto bene, tutto bene. Good morning and welcome. Buongiorno e benvenuto. And in the feminine, buongiorno e benvenuta. This is the only kind of verb we have in the feminine, by the way. It is beautiful. È bello. Open it. In the feminine, è bella. Some things we consider masculine are the feminine, but è bella may also mean she is beautiful, depending on the context, because the subject is understood. And è bello may mean he is handsome. So learn Italian the best way with me. Ciao!